Voters in Chico will be voting on a $239 million school bond in November. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live at the Chico Unified School District office. Diego, how do taxpayers feel about the measure? Kelly, there have been two polls already from the district with registered voters, both of them showing support over the 55% threshold. This helped inform the school board to approve the bond measure to move forward. Right now, Butte County is already considering adding a one cent sales tax to the November ballot, but they have yet to vote on a decision yet. And the Chico City Council has already approved putting a different one cent sales tax measure on the ballot. That means this school bond measure could be the third tax hike proposed increasing homeowners taxes. This particular bond measure would increase uh, the rate to $60 per 100,000 of assessed value. Now, there has been four successful bonds in the past. The last school bond measure that passed in Chico was Measure K for $152 million in 2016. Now, this bond would be the largest amount of money asked from the district. Of those dollars, 15% will go towards local charter schools. Now, if it is not passed, Kistel tells me that the district will not have the money to keep continuing school renovation projects. Live in Chico, I'm Diego Moctezuma with Action News Now. Diego, thanks for the update. Rosedale Chapman and Parkview Elementary will be the next coming projects if the school bond is passed.